Hi guys, Sadio Cutie here. Today I'm coming up with something new. Some of the Overwatch followers already know that I have one of the more popular tutorial aiming guides in that game, which in I utilized the training mode. And it starts off, I want you to pick up the wingman. The wingman, right? I know some of you guys don't like it, alright? But it's good for this particular practice. And as your second weapon, I want you to pick up the R301. And why we want to use these two weapons is one, the wingman has a single shot capability, right? And you, you shoot, there's a little delay in between, right? So you have a sort of a moment to kind of place your other shot. And with the R301, you also have the automatic, but you can also set it to semi-automatic. Not that it matters, but for this particular training, we're gonna set it to single. And I want you to stand right here. That That's where you come up, right? So I want you to stand right here, right? Now you're positioned here, right? Perfect. It's gonna go down something like this. You're gonna shoot this, you're gonna go from that one, to this one, to that one, to that one, to that one, to that one. Those are six targets, you have six bullets. The whole idea with, with, with this particular training technique here right here is that you wanna hit all the bullets. If, I know a lot of you guys are gonna struggle by hitting the head, so you can start hitting on the bottom and go, you know, for the body, like that. But if you feel a little bit more spicy, you can go for the head. Make it slightly more difficult. And if you already can hit these headshots, like super quickly, right? It's time to add a different element to it. That's why we have the R301 set to single mode, right? Now you can't hit heads with this, you can, right? What I want you to focus on is this, 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 and that bad boy over there. And if you already master this, then time yourself. What I usually do in cycles is I wanna do at least three cycles. And the cycle is essentially, you hit everything perfectly. You go one, two, three, four, five, six headshots, right? You go one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't miss a single shot. That's one cycle. And, and what, I've, what I've started to learn is it, it actually, the more I do it, the more accurate I get. And I figured after playing a game, after doing this technique, I felt like I could actually hit more targets, which to me, is working for me and if it's working for you so that's great so i would advise you guys to do this for about 20 i would say honestly before you play apex if you don't have a lot of time make sure you do this at least 15 minutes prior to actually playing your game so if you want to squat up with your teammates or whatever just make sure you jump into tutorial mode pick up the wingman and r31 set the wingman to single target and you just go ham seriously just just go ham and the thing is why I selected both these weapons is this, the wingman is one of the slower weapons in the game now. It takes a little bit longer to fire, right? So it kind of accounts for all the little bit slower weapons and whatever. And the R301, it's very fast auto, but you restrict yourself with single targets. So now you have to aim more, right? And that will come in handy with other weapons. I mean, later on, see, it doesn't really change that much. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, guide, guys. Please let me know down below what you thought about it. I'm really hoping that this could help out a couple people out there. Even if it's just a small amount of people, I'm really happy to be the person to make sure that you guys can keep fragging on Apex as hard as you possibly can. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you can't get enough of me, please hit me up on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash IDQD for more Apex action. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll catch you guys later.